Hey, this is Virtue Desi. Um, I wanted to quickly go through what I do um, when I'm washing my hair. So um, I get a lot of questions a lot of times, you know, do I use shampoo? And the answer is yes, I do use shampoo, but I don't use shampoo all the time. Um, it just kind of depends. I don't really even do it on a schedule, uh, but I do try to at least use shampoo once a month um, to really make sure I'm cleaning out my hair because you don't want gunk to, to gather on your hair. Now in the winter time, you kind of have to combat the idea of keeping your hair clean and not making it um, dry. So um, this time I am probably not going to use shampoo um, because my hair hasn't really been dirty dirty, but because I work out a lot, um, I do use shampoo at least once a month um, and there is nothing wrong with using shampoo um, you know that's the point of conditioner when you shampoo your hair you're supposed to use a good conditioner to put that moisture back in there and also afterwards you know use products to keep it moisturized um, throughout the week so what I do when I do wash my hair every time is um, I use a uh, apple cider vinegar you can get any kind you like I use the natural kind um, the Bragg's uh, all-natural apple cider vinegar that has like the little fuzzies in it um, and after I do that and I'll show you in a minute after I do that I put deep conditioner on and then I leave that in there for 45 minutes to an hour and sometimes overnight depending on uh, if I'm doing like kind of a wash and go um, I might do it uh, overnight um, because I generally do not wash my hair in the morning. I like to do it overnight because of the time it takes to detangle my hair. So deep conditioners, I use all types. I collect deep conditioners. Um, so I use all types. I even make my own. So um, and this is just conditioner that I got out of the store and oils that I, you know, uh, my, my body oil that I have that has olive oil, avocado, well not avocado, has olive oil in it, castor oil, grapeseed oil, jojoba oil, and sometimes I put glycerin in there, sometimes I put argan oil, um, and sometimes I put avocado oil, but it just kind of depends. Um, so, um, deep conditioners, also I like the Shea Moisture line. Um, I use all their deep conditioners, so if you ever wonder, what can I get Desiree for our gift, it'd be a deep conditioner. <laughs> I collect them. Um, yeah, I've used all of the Shea Moisture deep conditioners, I think. So, yeah, but today, um, and this is their purification mask. Um, I like this. It has tea tree oil in it and willow bark, and it's for dry, itchy scalp. So it's actually to treat your scalp and not just your hair. So I, I like this if you're having scalp issues. And I'm going to use a little bit of this up here because it's always itchy up here for whatever reason. So let's get to it. Okay, guys. So I'm just speeding up this whole process um, with me putting the vinegar in. Um, I put the all-natural uh, apple cider vinegar in my hair. Uh, Make sure to get the scalp and to, um, you know, put some on your hair. You can put some on your hair if you like. Uh, some people put apple cider vinegar in their deep conditioners. So it, it's just an overall uh, great product to help clarify the hair, um, bring shine to the hair. Um, really anything that's, uh, I guess, all natural or from the earth is going to provide some benefit to your hair um, and your body because um, you know organisms help other organisms that's um, the way that Yahweh designed it um, so after you do that uh, put your apple cider vinegar on your hair you can start adding the deep conditioner you might need to uh, add some water to your hair um, I don't soak my hair in the apple cider vinegar um, but I do add a, a little bit of water sometimes to my hair because as uh, your hair dries, you have to add more uh, deep conditioner to really get uh, it saturated with it. So um, 
wetting your hair will help with that process. Um, and, you know, especially as you, your hair grows, um, your hair is going to require a lot more deep conditioner. So, um, it gets expensive, trust me. So just use, uh, some water to, to dampen your hair and add the deep conditioner as you go along. Cause you wanted to have that nice, uh, wet and saturated look. Um, and as I was saying earlier, uh, I leave this in for about 45 minutes to an hour. Um, and I just do each section this way, put a plastic cap over my head and, you know, take care of other things around the house or whatever. Um, and that's pretty much it, you know, um, this is the process that I always enjoyed the most was, uh, adding deep conditioner to my hair. I don't know why, uh, but I look forward to that. Hey, I'm back. Okay. So I waited about an hour or so and I rinsed out the deep conditioner. Now you saw that my hair was in four different sections. Um, and I just take it out one section at a time. And, uh, let me show you really quick with the front. Let me find the lovely part again, if possible, here in the midst of this loveliness. Well, anyways, um, so I had, you know, this part in a section, I take it out under running water, okay? You have all that slick conditioner on your hair, so your hair's under the running water, and I finger detangle, okay? And I can provide a link to, um, the person who originally I watched um, that inspired me to finger detangle because I never thought that I could finger detangle this, okay? But I just start from the root and I start separating my hair like this under one and water with that um, slick conditioner. Um, and this is this is not an all-natural conditioner. It is suave humectant. Um, it's very seaweed slick. It's lovely, okay? But this natural botanicals and stuff, um, you know, it's probably not 100% natural either. But, um, you know, Trader Joe's generally carries stuff that are more on the spectrum of natural organic. So, anyways, lovely. Make sure scalp feels just lovely. So, anyways, um, finger detangle under one and water. And I didn't shampoo. I just used the uh, Trader Joe's uh, tea tree tangle here and put it on my scalp you know you hold pull so that you're not retangling your hair and you just massage your scalp um and massage it really good especially if you put a lot of deep conditioner in your hair like i do and no shower scenes here people so i'm just walking you through okay um rinse and then you leave that on for two minutes you know you wash or whatever don't put a plastic cap on that thing just let it sit let that steam just get all in your hair okay i know some people use um the shower cap negative okay just let that steam you know while you're washing up or whatever and then you just rinse that out um and cool to cold water however much you can take and um, i just take out all my clips hold my hair under the water and just let it do its thing and this is the result so here we are and um what i'm going to do next is i have aloe vera juice in here there this is about two ounces in a little applicator bottle. And then I'm going to spray it with this, okay? Um, natural hair, especially like mine, dries quickly. If you have looser curly hair, your hair shouldn't dry as quickly. Um, but if it is, there's probably some other issues going on there. So I uh, don't want to get into that right now. But anyways, what I'm going to do is take this, and I get this on my roots. It's like a nice pH to pH balance your hair and helps it to really shine and it locks my curls. Um, of course, I have a lot of curls going on here, um, but yeah, it locks your curls into place and it's just great and it's all natural and you know, God is a genius. Okay, so I just flip my head over and I'm just gonna put this on there. 
Okay, guys, so get this aloe vera juice everywhere. Be liberal with it. Squeeze it on the back of your head, the middle, the front. Get it in your scalp. Let it just, you know, rinse all over your hair. It's really lovely. So um, be liberal with it. And then I'm going to be right back. I'm going to go in the shower and, like, shake my head out like a dog does. Okay. Just gets those excess water out without me touching my hair or putting a towel over it so I shake my head out yeah um and then we're gonna there we go <laughs> then we're gonna spray this is Aptigy uh keratin green tea reconstructurizer um restructurizer let's get that right and um it strengthens this is just something that you need to put in your hair all the time whenever you wet it just Put some free protein in there, okay? And then in the summertime, I follow this up with some coconut oil. Honey, it's lovely. Okay, so you get all this in there. I try to do it before I start sectioning my hair off because then I just forget to put on it. So that's step number three, actually, after the washing. Stuff like that, that's the leave-ins, okay? So... Then I'm just going to section my hair off in those same four sections and I'm going to put it in twist. Week I do wash um, my hair every week. Um, it needs that water on it, um, especially if you work out a lot. So, God bless. <laughs>